Katie. It is. All right. Friday night football is back, but the talk of concussions continues to be an important topic in the locker room. 23 ABC's Leslie Marin joining us live from the Northeast this morning with what community leaders are doing this weekend to help prevent more injuries. Good morning, Leslie. Good morning, Mike and Aaron. Well, with many football teams taking the field across town tonight, many athletes aren't necessarily worried about getting injured. But with concussions nearly doubling in Kern County in the last four years, local doctors and administrators are hoping educating parents and athletes will put a stop to these injuries. For Elisa Espiritu, playing soccer was her life. If I wasn't doing um, high school softball or soccer, I was doing club soccer. But after two concussions, Espiritu started to notice a difference in her focus. When I started to notice more, something different was my second semester. My grades started to, to slip a little bit. So that's when I noticed, I was like, something's wrong. Between 2011 to 2013, the number of concussions suffered by high school athletes in the Kern High School District jumped from 80 to 153. The thing with concussions is, it's an injury you can you can't see. That's why community members, doctors, and educators have come together this year to form the Kern County Concussion Consortium. And this weekend, they'll host their first concussion symposium, focusing on how head-related injuries are evaluated and treated at our local high schools, and a way to keep local athletes safer. It's hard because you need to realize there's life after soccer. There's life after whatever sport you play, whether it be volleyball, baseball, football. There's life after that. Well, the concussion symposium is hosted by KCCC, and it is this Saturday at 8 a.m. until 1 p.m. at 5801 Sundale Avenue. The symposium is open to the public, and attendance is free. Currently, state law requires any student athlete suffering from a head-related injury sit out for at least 24 hours and until they receive a uh, permission by their doctor. Back to you.